now it's the new Hello everyone, it's Mr. Tanuki here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play New Super Mario Brothers Wii. On the last episode, we started World 4. It was a tropical level, it was very fun. Had a tiny bit of trouble in places, but overall I think it was alright. But now, while we're still technically in World 4, we've actually got an airship to do. Um, if you've played Super Mario Brothers 3 or New Super Mario Brothers U, in fact, around the time you get to World 4 in New Super Mario Brothers U, you get actually, yes, exactly before World 4. So, um, you get an airship, and basically, these airships are kind of like they're always. Wait, this one's not auto scrolling. Oh, that's good, because usually the airships are auto scrolling, so I'm glad this one's actually not. Oh, crap, and I still, still got hurt. I'm glad this one's actually not auto scrolling, because that means I've actually got a chance to do well. Because I pretty much suck at auto-scrolling levels. I really, really do. And I keep missing my opportunity. Okay, come, come, let's just... Oh, there we go. Beautiful. And this is actually... you kind of got to time yourself perfectly. Not really a big fan of fire rods. So I'm not at all. Please. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Please have a mushroom. I actually... Yes, thank God. Oh, my God. I almost got hit as well. Okay, just one more jump over that. Yep. Oh, and then I got hit. Oh, well. No, I don't think that was... Oh, you could have just gone this way to avoid that. Oh. Perhaps that... Oh, and there's a... Oh, and there's a checkpoint. Okay. Well, perhaps, maybe... Can we pound through these? We can! And obviously, that takes us to this uh, pipe over here, which is probably either going to contain... Actually, I think this might just be where we've got to go. Yeah. Um, I don't think it contains a star... Oh, it does contain a star coin. Awesome. Okay, let me just quickly get that. Okay. Um, and now do I, can I just go through here or do I have to go back to the same pipe? Because I really want to kind of be on course. I don't want to skip over things that could potentially be quite important. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to collect as many red coins as possible. Because uh, you collect all the red coins, you get a power up. In this case, it's an ice flower as you saw just there. Uh, which I assume we're probably going to need. I don't think ice flowers do much to... Um, to, to the ice rods. In fact, I don't think they do anything. It'd be awesome if maybe they froze the ice rods or something. Oh! Oh, oh I see what we've got to do. I see. I see. I see. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I've messed up. I've messed up! Okay. Right. I know what we've got to do. What? Really? Okay, look. What we've got to do is just... I'm just really struggling. Oh, my lord! Okay. Right. Not fair. Not a fan of that. Oh, my lord! I'm just going to avoid getting it now because I obviously can't. And we're so close to the gold pipe. I think this leads to a boss battle, actually. Um, obviously, wait, is this bit self-scrolling? It's so weird how this airship is not, like, a self-scrolling level. Because all the airship levels I've had in the past have been. And all we had to do was use that to go up there. And, um... Airship levels do tend to end in a boss battle. In New Super Mario Bros. U, it was always Bowser Jr. And it seems like this is the case. Um, in fact, in New Super Mario Bros. U, what you had to do was um, was go into like the water and like guide uh, bullet bills and torpedo teds and stuff at him. But it seems what you go got to do here is pretty obvious. I mean, he uh, gradually fills the playing field with fire to try and make it more uh, difficult, I guess. But still, I didn't find that very challenging at all. Um, kind of glad I didn't. Oh, but look at the nice view out the window. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be looking at. But as always, let us try and take a guess what the next level is going to be. I guessed last episode, but I didn't realise there was going to be an airship. I'm going to guess a swamp or forest level. If it follows the same formula as New Super Mario Bros. U, then it should be a swamp level. Because the airship came in New Super Mario Bros. U. Just before Soda Jungle. So, let's have a look. Ah, here we go. Who was correct? It's a swamp level. So, that means the next level is going to be like a, a mountainous slash mine kind of area. Um, anyway, so now we're dealing with Iggy. Save. Yes, yes, I shall save indeed. There's loads of giant shells. I assume this is kind of going to be... 
Isle of the Giants. I'm uh, I'm really upset these actually don't have names like they do in New Super Mario Bros. U. But um, yeah, I think there's kind of like equivalents. Like each game has their kind of equivalent to um. Oh, we can't pick those up. That's a shame. Can we pick this up, though? No, we can't. Too big, I suppose. That's probably the reason why. But there was an um, area in New Super Mario Bros. U. Soda. Can we go through there? In New Super Mario Bros. U. Soda Jungle called Isle of the Giants, where everything was really, really massively big. And uh, it was actually my favourite level in that game. So I'm, I'm kind of upset this isn't like a... a um, something that's similar to that formula. Um, and I'm actually really happy I managed to avoid that just then. Um, oh! 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 <laughs> damn! You know what these giant shells kind of remind me of? You know like in um, Super Smash Bros. Melee where um, actually, can I jump on the shell now? Oh, I can't. Come on. Boom! There we go. You know in, New in uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee, you've got the, um, the event mode and you've got the uh, trophy matches or whatever. You know, the ones where you're kind of fighting on top of one of the giant trophies. It kind of reminds me of that. Uh, like More like the Goomba head, just because it's kind of round. Anyone, who, anyone who's played that game will know exactly what I mean, but that's what it reminds me of. Um, melee. So, yeah. Um, I just want to say, I'm not a big fan of Smash, but I, I own Melee and I own Brawl. I'm, I was never a fan of of melee. I always prefer Brawl just because of the story mode and just because it had a lot of replayability. Melee, once you unlock the characters, there's really nothing else you could do. But um, I guess back in that day, um, Smash Brothers didn't really have replayability. Not really saying Smash 4 has replayability now because it, it really doesn't. Past online mode, there's not much you can do. And once they get rid of that, there's no reason to really go back to it. So, I mean, I'm, I mean, obviously, they're not going to get rid of it soon. But when when the Wii U becomes like a retro console or whatever, kind of like the GameCube. Is the GameCube considered a retro? Oh, is that a secret? I think that's a secret. Is the GameCube actually considered a retro console at this point? I feel like it should be, but I don't think it is. Um, okay, obviously, we've got to use the power block. Okay, and that will... Okay, there we go. And boom! Pretty easy. Pretty... Oh, that was the third one. Oh, so we're close to the end of this level then. Well, can we... Um... Okay, we can't grab onto the vines. Can we get a top of the flagpole? B top of the flagpole, bitch! Oh, yes! Oh, I've missed saying that. It's actually been about a week since I recorded the last episode of um, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. So I feel like I'm a tiny bit rusty, but... For as bad of a, as I could be from being rusty, I actually don't think I'm that bad. And, um... Okay, so we've got optional paths here. I assume you can't pass the area that's got a vine over it, of course. So we've got to go through them. And, of course, it won't let us go through the middle. So now we've got to fight the piranha plant. The walking piranha plant, um, if you want to be technical. Really not much of a hassle. I've never really found the walking piranha plants much of a hassle. And the, uh, the ice flower is just going to pretty much break this fight, as you saw just there. So um, really no hassle, but some mushrooms... Yes, okay, so I guess he just gives three of a set of one specific power-up. It'd be nice if he gave us some mushrooms, maybe an ice flower, and a heli suit, or a penguin suit, maybe. But I doubt that. Look at the giant wiggler. This is probably a wiggler level. And, you know what I just realised? New Super Mario Bros. U is exactly a HD remake of this game. Because if this is a wiggler level, then... Okay, well, it's not exactly the same. New Super Mario Bros. U had a Wiggler level, but the difference is the Wiggler was giant. And it kind of had to use it to navigate, like, the poison water kind of thing. And there it is. There's the giant Wiggler. <laughs> oh, two giant Wigglers. Oh, aren't they really mixing it up right there? Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Was not expecting that. So, I guess they're kind of going to go in a pattern. Still not difficult. Still not really difficult at all. Um, just go down here, then, I suppose. Um, oh, le oh no, uh, is this a secret entrance, or that leads to nothing, okay, it's just something to, oh, it's just something you've got to jump up to avoid the, uh, the Wigglers, okay, I get that, and, um, again, really not that challenging, exactly a HD remake, uh, it, it, it's weird, it's weird playing the, uh, Wii U version before this, and then, really, Actually, I don't think I'm that far from the checkpoint, so I can just carry on. It's weird playing the Wii U remake 
<laughs> well, not really a remake. I don't know. I'm so confused. So this exact and exact it was exactly in the same position in the Wii U remake. Like the top the top level because again you had optional levels you could go to. The top one was um, a wiggler level and the bottom one was like a a bridge level. You used a bridge to cross poisonous water. So if that's what this level is, this one down here, which that's actually what it looks like, then it's exactly a HD remake, which is really, really strange. They don't have Isle of the Giants, though. Or maybe they just follow kind of the same formula. I don't know. Um, okay, new plan. Maybe I should avoid touching the Wiggler, and then I'd just go ahead and jump on him. Um, okay. Ah, that's easy. So we've just got to... Just got to do that. Um, okay. Oh, okay. No. No, no, no. Oh, yes. We just get up here. Okay, this is probably a secret entrance, right? Oh. Is it? Is it a secret entrance? No, it's not. But we kind of have to do this anyway. So why not? I think this is actually the way you're supposed to do it. I'm not sure. Because uh, this pipe, I don't know if you can exit and enter from that pipe. Please don't be a, tr a trouble, Mr. Bat. Mr. Batty Bat. Um, oh no. Okay, Wiggler there, and then boom, boom, boom. Come on. N yes, yes, yes. We made it. That really wasn't a hassle. You could tell it wasn't much of a hassle because I didn't have to, like, make jump cuts. Well, I don't know yet. I might have decided to make jump cuts in the top of the flagpole, bitch. Yes. And uh, also, when you get top of the flagpole, you actually get points for each enemy that's on screen during that. So we got a thousand points for that wiggler that was on the screen. Feel like we should have got a tiny bit more because it was a giant wiggler. Um. So anyway, so now we're gonna want to go to and we can't go to the bottom for some reason. That that makes it quite difficult actually. Um. Okay. There's literally no way to do that. Maybe. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to fight you again and then it'll open up a path. I'm assuming. I don't know. Let's uh, let's just do this anyway. Um, it's a shame I don't have the uh, the ice flower because, like I said, for these things that is completely game breaking. So um, you know, I'm kind of a bit uh, weary of um, you know going too far out of the um, out of the area I need to be in because I'm pretty sure I'll get killed. There we go. There we go. You know what? You've seen me fight this guy, so I'm just gonna skip to when I finish this. Okay, so it still hasn't unlocked what we need. That's pretty stupid. Do we have to go into a level for it to change? I think we do. Great. Okay, that's stupid. You know what? There's no way for me to do that! That's ridiculous! Okay, uh, what I'm, I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to fight the boss, and then if the vines change that allows me to get to that bottom level, that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. Okay, let's go into the f tower right here. Uh, not sure we have to do just avoid the spikes. I guess that seems uh, pretty much it uh, Not exactly anything particularly difficult and then I almost die um, Right, so it's pretty hard for us to kind of jump is it? Okay. Oh, no, we've got this platform over here I feel like if I had the um, the heli shroom it would be a lot easier Maybe that's like the game breaking item in this like in um in Super Mario World, it was the cape. In this game, it's the heli suit. It always seems to kind of be the flying items that kind of break the game. Um, am I even doing this right? Because I feel like, since we just got a star coin, I feel like this is like not the real way to go. This is like kind of like a special way, you know? Like the the op oh no, we did go the right way because there's a thing. Why did I? Oh, I should have got that first and then got the then got the mushroom because then I could have got an actual power up. Rather than having um, a non-actual power-up. Oh, okay. oh, it's over here. Okay, and uh, we can actually do that pretty fast. Um, if, you know, it starts being nice to us. And lets us go higher, 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 higher. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I'm surprised we made that, actually. I don't really care about that Dark Oil. Like I've said, not 100% in this game. Need I need this, though, because that's obviously going to help us get up. Um... Come on. There we go. Um, oh, and we got to go this way and then this way and then... Oh, what do you know? We've got to jump over there and then over here. Up. Nope. Up. Oh, crap. No, that screwed me out of my... Out of my um, well-deserved 
um, ascent to the top. Come on. See, now you can see the walls are starting to go faster. And uh, they've given you little break to actually get up. And there was another star coin we could have easily got there. But I'm not going to because I don't really want to. I'm just too lazy to get that. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to go fight the boss Iggy Iggy I-G-G-Y. Um, well, it doesn't matter if I go to the bottom level. Because I said I'm not going to be 100% in this. So would it matter to you guys? I don't know. If I can't get to the bottom level after doing this, then I'm not going to. That's what I'm going to say. Because it's pretty frustrating. You want to get to a level and it literally will not let you. It's pretty annoying. No! 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 That's stupid! Okay, so just one more hit on him now. Let's see if I can actually get it like a skilled one. Oh, crap. That was so close. Oh, we did it. We did it. I thought for a second I didn't. And I was like... Damn it, that was close, and I thought he was going to kill me. Then I remembered I had a double power-up, like I had a mushroom, so I got two hits, bitches! And then we killed him, and that's pretty much the end of my story right there. Um, are we able... Oh my god, there's so many levels left to go. Oh, we got more of those stupid vines, that's ridiculous. Um, it'd be so cool if it, like, opened up another path. See, like I said, if the vines aren't allowing us to get to this bottom level, I'm not going to do it. Oh, great. Of course it's Toad. Um, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Okay, I'll save. If the vines don't change to let me go... Oh, yay! Now I can go to the bottom level. That's pretty much the way I'm going to play out this level. Maybe I'll show them next episode if I don't get a chance to do them this episode. Or vice versa. I'm not really sure. It annoys me that I can't complete the levels before it and then... Go to the, um, the star. But anyway, you hit these on the bottom and you get coins. And it also makes them change their direction. You can see they kind of like flop their steps over you. Um, so it's pretty easy to figure out what they're trying to do. You do that, you hit on top of their heads and they just die. Pretty simple stuff really when you think about it. I mean, I wouldn't struggle but that's just because I'm a Mario expert, you know. Um, actually, it's probably easy if I just do that. Yeah, I was figuring out how I was actually going to um, go about doing that. But then I realised it's pretty easy because all you've got to do is just jump on their heads. I always feel like I'm just going to hit the spikes right at the side of their heads. And... Ah, oh, yes! Something good! It seems the last few episodes have actually been doing really well with getting um, good power-ups. And now watch me lose it pretty much straight away. Because once you get a power-up, you kind of got that mindset that you're invincible, you know? So then you end up being a lot more reckless than you would. And I literally almost got hit just then. Um, I will cross this log. This works similar to the things that are on, like, the corkscrew plat. Are you serious? No, come on! Okay, I think I'm just going to just run through this. I'm glad I got a power star, actually. It oh, and another one. Nice. It's so stupid that I died when, like, oh, that was ridiculous. And I can't even get past these stupid blocks now. Oh, God. And, yes, midpoint. And I'm glad we actually got that because we didn't get a midpoint last time. I had to go, like, all the way back and do what we were doing. And that was a shame right there because almost killed it. Come on. Oh, my God. Um, I really... Oh, that's why I had to use the shell for. To get into there. Oh, no. Okay. Um, can we have a mushroom here? No. Okay. Uh, oh, no. No. Can we go down here? No, we cannot. Okay. How? Oh, oh, we just do that. Oh, oh! Okay, so once you activate that, he starts kind of stepping over there because he thinks he's allowed to. The, the, um, self-entitled idiot! Okay, so new strategy. I can't figure out how to get Oh, I did it! I was going to say that I couldn't figure out how to get past it, so I was going to go like all kamikaze Pearl Harbor on that shit. But I, I, I did it. I figured out how to do it. And hopefully I don't get hit right here because that would be a bit like counterproductive. Oh my god, that was like unbelievably close. Is that- No! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty sure this right here is the end. So let's, um, we're not doing that well, are we? Well, I say we, I'm not doing that well because actually, can I? Oh, come on. The top of the flagpole would have been all I needed to make that level worth it. We've actually run up so much time and we're not even halfway done yet. Like now we're kind of halfway done. 
I'm thinking I'm going to rush through this level because I don't know. And we didn't even get any star coins. I didn't even see any that we could have gotten, but oh well. Anyway, let's head to this area over here, which I think this might be the bridge one I was referring to. You know the one where it's got kind of like a bridge over a, uh, a toxic water? In in uh, New Super Mario Bros. U, it was called Seesaw Bridge. Um, oh, God. Is there anything? Is there any way to get up there? Would I have to, like, combo Goombas or something like that? I don't think they'd be that cruel as to make me, you know, do something like that. And, oh, this is... Oh, okay, I know what this is. So, basically, this one... Um, wait, this is different. Okay, so, uh, basically, once you get a certain amount of weight on it, it stops moving. Um, the, the way this worked in New Super Mario Bros. U is it had, like, a countdown... Um, to, like, so say it said five on it. Once you got five things on it, it would stop moving. Uh, it's kind of confusing. I don't know what it's... Oh, so it just works up to five again. Okay, that's easy. So I know pretty much what I've got to be doing. I could get that star coin up there, but I don't really think I could. If I, if I tried my hardest, I probably could. But, I don't know, I'm not that skilled. And what would I jump on? Um, these tiny Goombas, I kind of like them. They're pretty cute. I mean, look, Goombas things, you give them a chance and they will pretty much just, um, just walk off the edge anyway. But I don't really want to give them a chance. Now, the thing is, these tiny Goombas, they don't hurt you. They just attach to you. But they still count as one thing. So what you got to do is just spin to get them off and you can get multiple Goombas at the same time. So it works out pretty well if that's what you're trying to do. And I just missed the star coin. And there's cloud. Oh, there we go. That's the reason I hate clouds. Hopefully that, um, oh, oh no. Hopefully the bob -omb's going to explode because, are you serious? I'm not happy with that at all. We didn't even get a checkpoint. Okay, so we're now back to kind of the same position we were in. I don't know why they thought it would be a good idea to give me, oh no. Okay. Um, oh, actually, I'm kind of glad that stopped because I actually really needed another power-up. So that's good. And uh, now I could use that to freeze these. Okay. No, I can't. No, I can't. Um, oh, oh, I see. I see. I get it. I got it. I got that. I've got this stuff, guys. You think I'm not skilled? You don't know nothing about me. You don't know nothing. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Do we get a checkpoint at least? Or was that just like a sh short level? You know, we've died quite a lot of times, haven't we? Damn it, come on! All I needed was the top of the flagpole. Oh, jeez. How many have we actually got? I think we got two this episode. So, not that bad. I mean, we're kind of starting to speed through it now. And once again, the vines are in the way. Isn't that just great? That's absolutely jolly and fantastic, isn't it? Oh, and now they're gone. So, yay. So, they're kind of making it so it's difficult to actually do the levels we want. Aren't they just fun when they do things like that? They are, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay. So, World 5-5. Five five. Oh, this is a self-scrolling one. Uh, so, this is why I imagine the... <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, he loves when you throw ice on him. He loves it. Whee! <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. This is like the best thing ever. They are so cute. They are so cute. I've forgotten their names, though. I know they have names. I know they have names. I know that for a fact. Oh, no! No! I do this all the time. I always mess up when I don't need to. Okay, so I'm back to roughly kind of where we were. Um, I gained Dover, by the way, if anyone's interested. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't a very pleasant experience. I had to go and redo every level past the last boss we did. So, to be honest, it was a bit more hassle than it was worth kind of thing. But, let's go collect these blue put coins, because we kind of need coins. Coins equal lives, and lives are something we definitely need, as I have lo- No! What the fuck? No! That was bullshit! My hand slipped! Oh my god. Guys, you don't even know how annoyed I was about that. I hope this is... That's only the midpoint. Okay. So, I think now maybe we're past the hard bit. He said hopefully. Although I know pretty much we're, we're not. Uh, how do I get down there? That's obviously leading to something. Um, oh god, who... Who no? Oh, we probably have to. I probably have to go under the clouds, like float down there, and then, like, 
use the heli shroom or whatever. Not the heli shroom, like this heli block. I don't know. I'm not going to bother getting that because it might not even be anything anything good. Um, I'm glad actually we can still boop blocks with this. I'm grabbing that because actually I don't even think we're going to need it. But the only problem is it's going to act like a second hit. So um, I'll probably need that. Judging by the amount of bullet bills that are around, I think I'll definitely need that. Or something that's just going to extend my life ever so slightly. Because as you can see, we're on four lives. And uh, I'm sure you've noticed over the course of this episode, they have been gradually decreasing. Quite, well, gradually, quite uh, reliably decreasing. And uh, I'm not particularly happy about it. And I think I just took a risk that shouldn't have been taken. Okay, good, good. Oh, and then, okay, so this is obviously the flagpole over here. And we can probably get top of the flagpole now because we've, no, we can't because we've got to go through this. Great, and we can't take our heli block through pipes. So I doubt now we're even going to get top of the flagpole, bitch. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, but can we cannot? Ugh, God, my life, guys, I'll tell you. I will tell you, this is difficult. No, I'm not. You know, actually, I think between the course of this episode and next episode, I'm actually going to go grind some lives, go to an easy level, do some comboing on some bullet bills or some goombas or something like that, and um, get lives that way, and also collect loads of coins. I think actually I'm going to make kind of like a a. No, I can't. Oh, actually, can I? I think I can. I'm going to make just an escape. <laughs> just an escape to the castle. Because this, level, this um, episode's run on quite a bit. I don't want to run it on longer than I have to. Um, I have already stated I'm not going to be 100% in this game. Um, which is going to be my motto from here on out. I'm not going to be 100% in this game. Not even going to attempt to. Because I know I could not. I mean, you know, if I wanted to, could I? Yes. But I don't, I don't really want to, to be honest. Uh, no, especially given this episode. Especially given how this episode has gone, I don't really think it's uh, the smartest choice to to do. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no, no. Come on, come on. No, no. I just want my heli shroom. Oh, can I still get it? Can I still? Can I still get it? I don't think I can still get it. Well, the heli shroom's gone. Maybe I could get this, though. Can I get this? Oh, yes, I can. Okay! Alright. Whoever's playing around with me at Nintendo... Nintendo level design headquarters, you... You are an, an idiot. And I'm not happy with you, and I don't like you. You're bullying me. Okay, so there's a secret up here. Is it worth going for? Oh, I'm going to go for it anyway because it might have coins and I need lives. It's probably going to be the greatest mistake I ever... Okay, it does have coins. Uh, so that's good. Question is, will I actually be able to get the... Okay. Oh, I did get it. Awesome. Um, oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just quickly rush. Okay, there we go. Now we're safe. And we got a life. So it was kind of worth it. I mean, we lost our power up, so that's not good. But, oh, and we got more coins over here. We lost our power up, so that's not the best thing that could have happened. But we got a life, so it's kind of worth it, I guess. Um, I'm really hoping there's not going to be any little flamers. The little flaming balls of death that come up and try and um, kill me. Kill me! Kill me! Kill me now! Oh, God. The oh, no! 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 We still didn't get a midpoint! It seems a bit ridiculous how far you have to go into this castle before you actually reach a midpoint. I mean, oh, there it is. Thank God. This is probably quite painful for all of you to watch. But thankfully, I've now got a a, a, um, a heli. Well, I don't anymore. I've now got a... I oh, they can't do anything to the magic. Oh, they can. Oh, nice. That makes things slightly easier. Um, and But yet, while we're on here, we can't do anything about it. Um, okay, so just quickly, just gonna rush through here. Oh, okay, it's bouncy blocks. That's, that's not completely irritating at all. Um, come on! Yay, there we go. Anything over here? No. You know what, I'm just gonna rush, destroy this boss. Can you guys tell how stressed out I am? I really, really am quite stressed out, to be honest. And if we have another airship after this level to do, I'm gonna be a bit annoyed. Now, who are we fighting again? Oh, Ziggy. Oh, my God. No, he has a chain chomp. 
This is going to make things interesting, isn't it? Okay, so we've got to use... There's bouncy blocks, which... What I'm seeing is the chain chomp's going to take him around... Oh, no, it's a big chain chomp. Chain chomp's going to take him around a path. And we've got to use the bouncy blocks in order to hit him. So it's not, it's not that bad. It could be a lot worse, actually. It could be, like, a million, trillion times worse. Yes! Yes! No, 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 no! <laughs> Come on, dude! Come on! What are you doing? Oh no! Oh no! I've got one life left! So if I die. No! 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 I've got fucking game over! <laughs> no! I have to do everything again! Oh my god! <laughs> that is bullshit! 